Hi, my name is Ed Govan from Advanced Systems Group, better known as ASG, a professional high quality audio video voice data company located in Fort Wayne. We are a diamond sponsor this year for IASB. I've worked with many of you in designing and installing your TV studio systems over the years. This year, we are partnering with NewTek, maker of the very popular TriCaster video production system, which many of you own. They are presenting their own video at this year's conference to highlight the current TriCaster lineup, so don't miss it. ASG is a fully authorized premier dealer for NewTek, and we can help you determine which of their products will best fit your needs and budget. ASG can also provide and install a complete TV studio system for you, along with any supporting products like JVC or Panasonic cameras and ETC LED lighting. We also specialize in other streaming solutions to meet today's communication challenges. I'm happy to come to your school free of charge to assess your needs on site. If you have any projects coming up or would like to chat about anything AV, give me a call at the number on the bottom of the screen or email me. Remember to check out the new tech video as part of the conference. I look forward to hearing from you. Welcome to the 2021 Indiana Association of School Broadcasters Virtual High School Awards Presentation Ceremony. Hello, I'm Scott Eker, General Manager of WICR Radio at the University of Indianapolis and the Executive Director of IASB. Before we begin presenting the awards, we need to thank a number of people who made this year's competition possible, starting with the Association's Board of Directors. We also deeply appreciate the nearly 60 industry professionals and educators who judge this year's high school and college awards competition. Thank you so much, we could not do this without you. And finally, thank you to our sponsors for their support, which helps keep the cost of entry low. Now to the competition awards. 29 high schools and career centers submitted a combined 421 entries in 2021. We will recognize three or more students in each category. First, we will announce those students the judges felt were deserving of honorable mention recognition, followed by third, second, and first places. Let's begin with three categories that do not count toward the School of the Year tally. Thanks so much, Scott. Hi, I'm Evan Elrod of Jasper High School, president of the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters. After what can only be described as a challenging school year, we're so excited not only to have an annual competition, but to also share the results. Two things to keep in mind. One, the amount of effort and talent you put into your submissions doesn't change based on these results. You should be proud of your work. Two, we'll likely mess up some names, and I apologize in advance for the rest of the presenters as well. We really hope to be back in person next year where your cheers can drown out our mispronunciations. Now, on to the results. I'm pleased to announce the awards for Student Multimedia Website. Receiving honorable mention are Paige Zercher from Carmel High School and Crown Town Media Staff from Crown Point High School. Placing third in the category, Sydney Smith from Franklin Central High School. Second place goes to Haley Hart, Katie Burnfield, and Malia Labrador of Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center. And the winner for Best Multimedia Website Molly Kosova of Carmel High School, 
Congratulations to Molly and all the other award recipients in this category. Now to a brand new category for this year, Audio Podcast. Entries receiving honorable mention are Millie Muneer from Floyd Central High School and Rhinona Adams from Walker Career Center. Third place, Sam Allen and Owen Cox from Franklin Central High School. In second place, Katherine Kruger from Homestead High School. And in first place, for audio podcast, Aria Udeman from J. Everett Light Career Center. Congratulations to Aria and the other award winners, along with everyone who entered this category for the very first time. Hey, I gotta order this Uber. I'll never get there. I'm already super late. I'll call you back later, though. Wish me luck. Bye! God, I hope I don't get killed by this white shirt killer. What's up, y'all? Boy, do I have a wild, wild story for you today. Have you ever had an Uber or Lyft pull up and they just radiated sketchy vibes? Or you were in the backseat of a car and realized someone could easily lock the door and you could never get out? Well, if you're like me, then you definitely have. And Hollywood decided to capitalize on this fear and create an hour and 42 minute movie and call it Spray. I'm Susan Decker, president and owner of Susan Decker Media, a public relations firm in Indianapolis and an at-large member of the IASB Board of Directors. I'm pleased to announce the awards for social media presence. Receiving honorable mention are the SBS TV media team, South Bend Community School Corporation. And from the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center, Abigail Brown, Gwyneth Nally, Katie Bernfeld, and Lene Klimzeski. In third place in this category, Homestead Media, Homestead High School. Second place goes to Elizabeth Kneifel, Carmel High School. And the winning entry in the social media presence category, HHS, In-Depth, Homestead High School. Congratulations! This week on HHS In Depth, seniors with college right around the corner, see how you can best fill out a resume for your future. Next, get a look at how one student is already starting out her film career. Now on to the copywriting categories. Our client this year was the Indiana High School Athletic Association. Here to present the Radio and Television Copywriting Awards is Heath Shanahan, Director of Broadcast Operations and Executive Producer for the IHSAA. I'm pleased to announce the IASB award winners for radio copywriting. Receiving honorable mention are Natalie Rondow of Carmel High School and Logan Vont of Franklin Central High School. In third place, Tyler Veet of Homestead High School. In second place, Jonathan Lieber of Crown Point High School. And the winner, in the radio copywriting category is Sean Grove of Carmel High School. Congratulations to everyone.
And now to announce the winners of the IASB Awards for Television Copywriting. Receiving honorable mention are Quinn Gunderson of Jasper High School and Blaine Maxwell of Martinsville High School. In third place, Amia Stevens of Franklin Central High School. In second place, Jacob Young from Carmel High School. And in first place, the winner in the television copywriting category is Cole Meyer of Martinsville High School. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you again to the Indiana High School Athletic Association for their partnership with the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters. Next up, Spot Production. Hi, I'm Drew Carey, the Director of Network Operations for the nationally syndicated radio show, The Bob and Tom Show, and an at-large member of the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters Board of Directors. And I'm honored to be able to present the awards for Radio Spot Production. Receiving honorable mention are Alec Bullock from the J. Everett Lake Career Center and Presley Dix from the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center. Finishing in third place in this category, Will Courtney from Carmel High School. In second place, Christina Kruger, Homestead High School. And in first place in the Radio Spot Production category, Easton Hensley, Homestead High School. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our participants and all of the students involved, and especially to our winners. Preparing for liftoff in three, two, one, ignition. We have reached liftoff. I installed an internet module on your ship, sir. You should be online any second. Sweet! Time to stream the Point 91 FM. Good thing I can stream this station anywhere at WCYT.org. This is out of this world! Literally. The Point 91 FM. It even streams in space. And I'm honored to announce the awards for television spot production. Receiving honorable mention, Michelle Obiyama, Homestead High School, and Matthew Wuthwich, Wawasee High School. In third place, Michael Cole and Nicholas Corbett, Franklin Community High School. In second place, Caleb Good and Elijah Rice from Brownsburg High School. And in first place in television spot production, Caleb Wood from Homestead High School. Congratulations to all the students who participated in this year's contest, and congratulations to the winners. This is the Spartan Online School. Complete coursework anytime, anywhere, meeting work or family obligations. Access many digital activities, lectures, and help from teachers over Zoom. Tasks are fully self-paced. Receive assignments on Monday and turn them in by Friday. The Spartan Online School is tuition-free and students can graduate with a Core 40 or Academic Honors Diploma. Preparing today's learners for tomorrow's opportunities. I'm Stephanie Reiser of the Hammond Area Career Center, an at-large member on the IACB Board of Directors. I'm excited to announce the awards for Radio in Depth. Receiving honorable mention is Tyler Veith, Homestead High School, and Area O'Diamond from Day Effort Light Career Center. Third place in this category goes to Will Courtney of Carmel High School. Second place goes to Maddie Corral, Franklin Central High School. And the winner in the radio in depth category is DJ Bug, Franklin Central High School. Congratulations. As we retreat into our homes to shield ourselves from the winter air, we tend to get some unexpected visitors. 
Rodents, insects, and bats are all common creatures that we find retreating into the warmth of our garages and bedrooms when the air starts to get cold. Our first instinct can often be to kick them out. This is our house after all, and some of them carry diseases. I'm excited to announce the awards for Video In-Depth. Receiving honorable mention are Myla Tessander, Floyd Central High School, and Colin Wood, Floyd Central High School. Third place in this category goes to Andy Newman and Jeff Becker, Carroll High School. Second place, David Sully and Alan Powell, South Bend Community School Corporation. And the winner in the Video In-Depth category is Caleb Wood, Homestead High School. Congratulations. Ready, replay, take replay. Everything is done, created, and, and produced by Homestead students. I think that's, that's pretty special. Homestead Live is part of the sports broadcasting class here at Homestead. And it's something that is still fairly new. Now it involves a 15-person crew. We have a lot better software, a lot better hardware now than we did even a year ago. Take care, take care, take care. The skills that I've learned here and just the opportunities with all of the equipment. Hi, this is Greg Rakestraw, and I am honored to be a presenter for the Indiana Association of School Broadcaster Awards. I get to give you a couple categories. First one is going to be Radio Sportscast. Receiving honorable mention are Luke Donovan and Austin Rubin from Carmel High School. In third place, Matt Salfrank, Homestead High School. Second place goes to Braden Carroll, Homestead High School. And the winner for Best Radio Sportscast, Elias Corey of Franklin Central High School. Congratulations to all of the award recipients in this category. I'm Elias Corey, and this is a WRFT Sports Update. Three Franklin Central wrestlers are heading to state. Johnny Weisheit at 182, Octavion Jordan at 220, and Anton Alexander at 285. Jordan ended up finishing 8th at state, while Alexander finished 6th, each in their respective class. Alexander finishes his senior year season with a career record of 140 wins and 32 losses, the 4th all-time Franklin Central career record and tying for 2nd in career wins. The Lady Flash's swim team had a nice outing at the state meet. Sophomore Devin... We now move to the radio interview category. Receiving honorable mention, Blake Pish and Jonathan Lieber, Crown Point High School, and Paris Himes of the J. Everett Light Career Center. Finishing in third place for radio interview, Eddie Finn, Crown Point High School. Second place goes to Will Courtney, Carmel High School. And with the winning entry in the radio interview category, Austin Rubin, Carmel High School. So you mentioned that there are a lot of adjustments due to the COVID-19 pandemic and how it's changing a lot. Uh, in what other ways are you adapting to a dance marathon that will indeed look a little different this year? One of the biggest things we're going to do, so we've moved it back to May so that we give more time for hopefully COVID to slow down and um, so that it's going to be nicer outside so that we can hold dance marathon outside on the football field, I believe is where we're going to do it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lance Clark, Dean of the Arts at Huntington University and the IASB's Vice President of Post-Secondary Education. It is my honor and privilege to present this year's awards in the category of photojournalism. Receiving honorable mention are Nathan Shaw of Connorsville Senior High School and Cora Shaw from Homestead High School. In third place, J.P. Susancio, Carroll High School. Second place goes to 
David Soleil, South Bend Community School Corporation. And the winner for Best Photojournalism in 2021 goes to Caleb Wood, Homestead High School. Congratulations to Caleb and the other award recipients in the photojournalism category. I'm pleased to announce the awards in the category of Cinematography. Honorable mention is Nina Stewarwald, Brownsburg High School and Megan Quinn, Porter County Career and Technical Center. Third place goes to Daisy Macias, Carroll High School. Second place goes to Millie Muner, Floyd Center High School. And first place goes to Caleb Wood, Homestead High School. Congratulations to Caleb and the other award recipients in the cinematography category. Our next category is Radio Play-by-Play. -play. Honorable mention goes to Zion Brown, Ben Davis High School, and Brayden Carroll, Homestead High School. Third place for Radio Play-by-Play, -play, Matt Salfrank, Homestead High School. Second place, David Wiederhoff, Carmel High School. First place, Colin Eccles, Walker Career Center. First down and 15 for the Wildcats. Two minutes remaining here in the half. Tie ball game at seven apiece. McCulley in the shotgun formation. Empty backfield, two to his left, trips to his right. McCulley fills the pocket collapse, steps up and is running. McCulley looking for some room and he's tripped up by Therese Reed, but not before he picks up the first down and then a few extra. Lawrence North moving the ball out to their own 44-yard line with just under two minutes to go here in the half. Clock will keep rolling as McCulley gets the call from his sideline. We move on now to radio sporting event broadcast. Honorable mention goes to Will Mesmer and William Mowat, Jasper High School and Zion Brown and Josh Ingalls, Ben Davis High School. Third place for radio sporting event broadcast, Colin Eccles, Christian Oates, Isaiah Hoffman, and J.C. Merchant of the Walker Career Center. Second place, Matt Salfrank, Chris Corman, Ashton Hackman, and Brayden Carroll of Homestead High School. And the winning entry for radio sporting event broadcast, David Wiederhoft, Luke Donovan, Zach Browning, and Joe Cronin of Carmel High School. 
The lights are shining bright here on a sold-out CF Rourke Stadium here in Brownsburg, Indiana, as the Brownsburg Bulldogs are taking on the Carmel Greyhounds for the Sectional 5 Championship. My name is David Wiederhaft. I'll be your play-by-play -play announcer tonight, and alongside me, my good friend, my colleague, my color commentator, Luke Donovan. Luke, how are you tonight? I'm super excited for this game. Should be a very good contest. Greyhounds extend their lead, silencing this Brownsburg crowd. As it's 17-0 to right now, here comes Spencer Hanna for the PAT. And there's the wrinkle we've been waiting for. The first time all season long, Luke Conley has been in the slot, has been out wide, and we've seen it now for about four or five weeks straight. The Greyhounds always... Hello, I'm Adam Schinkel, the radio and television director of Homestead High School. I'm also the secretary of the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters. This year, I'm pleased to announce the awards for Best Music Video. Receiving honorable mention are Alexia Bowen of Franklin Central High School and Millie Munir from Floyd Central High School. Placing third in this category of music video, Claire Witt, Jasper High School. Second place for music video goes to Elena Butts from Carroll High School. In the winners for Best Music Video 2021, Jaylee Copeland and Kennedy Fernung from Kokomo Area Career Center. Congratulations. I'm and I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hills Till the landslide brought me down Oh, we were in the sky, what is love? Can the child within my heart rise above? I'm also pleased to announce the awards for Best Short Film for 2021 here at ISB. Honorable mention, Oliver Curtis and Caleb Good of Brownsburg High School, and Nora Fillinger from Brownsburg High School. Receiving third place for short film this year, David Burden from Carroll High School. In second place this year for short film, the RTV2 class from Martinsville High School. And the winner of first place in the short film category for ISB 2021, Angel Hernandez and Alan Powell from South Bend Community School Corporation. Congratulations to all of the winners. Those practicing witches. They're eternal souls. Wow. Sounds bogus to me. You don't believe me? I mean, haven't you heard the stories from people about chairs moving around, lights turning on and off, all that? Stuff moving around, things move. Do, do you really hear yourself? I think this is another reason for not to be here. Caps from Franklin Central High School in Indianapolis and an at-large member on the IASB Board of Directors. I'm pleased to announce the awards for Video Show Open. Receiving honorable mentions are SSN Productions from Connorsville Senior High School and William Mowat of Jasper High School. Third place for Video Show Open goes to Aaron Henderson and Melanie Sanchez of South Bend Community School Corporation. And in second place, David Burden of Carroll High School. And the winning entry in the video show open category. Congratulations to Silas McFarland from Martinsville High School.
prize for video sound design. Receiving an honorable mention, Gabrielle Malik, Curtis Fawnen, and Gavin Ramsey from Brownsburg High School, and Ashton Hudson and Marissa Salas from the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center. In third place for video sound design, Megan Quinn from the Porter County Career and Technical Center. Second place goes to the Morning Class Group A for the Elkhart Area Career Center. And in first place for video sound design, Mason Herendine from Wawasee High School. Congratulations. Huh? Oop. Whoa. Huh? Um, how did I run so fast? And how did I get so strong? Uh, uh, yeah! Hello from Kendallville. I'm Jeanette Reinert. I'm the instructor at Impact Institute. I'm also the treasurer for the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters. And it is my honor to announce the awards in the radio drama category. Receiving honorable mention are Blake Miller from the Elkhart Area Career Center and Logan Smith of Warsaw Community High School. Placing third in this category via Sargent and Skylar Greaves from Carmel High School. Second place goes to Luke Gare from Homestead High School. And the winner for Best Radio Drama, Jacob Inman, Carroll High School. Congratulations to Jacob and the other award recipients in this category. Hello, everyone. Uh, so uh, it's about 3 p.m. on Saturday. March 14th. Um, so I'm recording this because it's well into the afternoon and the sun still hasn't come up. Yeah, all the power's out. There's sirens going off. It, yeah. It's crazy, right? Like, is it just gone? And I'm also pleased to announce the awards in the radio show category. Receiving honorable mention are Bridget Kuehl, Drew Persinger, and Christina Kruger from Homestead High School, as well as Melanie Sanchez and Aaron Henderson from the South Bend Community School Corporation. Placing third in this category, Heather Friedman and Kayla Garrity from Carmel High School. Second place goes to Chris Gloff, Claire Patina, L. Wally from Crown Point High School. And the winner for the best radio show, Carly Flanagan and Cora Shaw, Homestead High School. Congratulations to Carly and Cora, as well as the other award recipients in this category. Now we're back with more Q&A. If you want your answers featured next week, make sure to follow at Asking for a Friend FM on Instagram. That last song you just listened to was Low by Silver Rider. So one of the questions we asked is, what do you do to help you stay organized? Somebody said that they get plenty of sleep and schedule out their time and make notes of things that they want to accomplish. Hmm. Very smart. That's like a big overview of everything we just talked about. Definitely. And getting plenty of sleep, that's something I need to work on. That, you definitely. <laughs> I was about to say, like, I really try to get good sleep, but it's just so difficult sometimes mm -hmm. whenever you're just, you're doing so many things at once and then like... In the radio talk show category, honorable mention goes to Aiden Hatter, Franklin Central High School, and Drew Stoltz and Isaiah Robinson of the South Bend Community School Corporation. Placing third, Braden Carroll, Homestead High School. In second place, Molly Kasaiba and Matty O'Connor, Carmel High School. First place for Radio Talk Show, Jenna Lane and Carly Flanagan, Homestead High School.
anyways, after I had talked to my mom, like, where's my cake? What am I going to do? She was like, we can make a cake. And I was like, okay, but where am I going to find a good recipe? And we both were like, oh, let's go to Pinterest because there's so many good recipes on Pinterest. Always head straight there. I mean, Pinterest has ideas for literally anything. Like all of the creative souls that get on Pinterest and spread their ideas. Like I Thank you. Thank you for Bless giving me you. your ideas. I need those <laughs> ideas. And then they have like fashion trends, makeup and hairstyles, tons of recipes. I'm Phil Huffman from Wallace C. High School, IASB's Vice President of Secondary Schools. I'm pleased to announce the awards for live event broadcast. Receiving honorable mention are... BHS-TV and Extended Play Studios from Brownsburg High School and the FCTV Advanced 6 Period Class at Franklin Community High School. Placing third in this category, BHS-TV and Extended Play Studios, Brownsburg High School. Second place goes to Homestead Live, Homestead High School. And the winner for Best Live Event Broadcast, Homestead Live, Homestead High School. Congratulations. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into Homestead High School for today's joint jazz band concert on Homestead Live presented by Manchester University. We're here with you today. It's about 2 p.m. this afternoon, and we're all set to get ready, so let's hand things over to Homestead Director, Mr. Jason Witzegruder. Hi, this is Greg Rakestraw from the studios of the ISC Sports Network. Time to give away another award, in fact, several of them for one of our great IASB categories. With that, this is live television sportscast. Honorable mention, Griffith Hadley, Matthew Plotchek, Jacob Weiner, Thomas Johnson, Carmel High School, and the RTV2 class at Martinsville High School. Third place goes to Homestead Live, Homestead High School. Second place goes to BHS TV and Extended Play Studios, Brownsburg High School. And our first place winner, Homestead Live, Homestead High School. Congratulations to all of our award winners, and thanks for having me be a part of your special day. Two future Big Ten players in Lou Goody and Fletcher Lawyer. And these two really are the backbone of this Homestead squad. You take one of them out, and it's not the same team. They're not undefeated, but they both are just absolutely dominant. They are ranked number one in Class 2A, 10-0 overall on the season. You see the starters there first, Wood, Burke, Boyer, and Davidson as early on. Blackhawk Christian able to score at Zane Burke with the two-pointer. You should expect fast possessions like that all night long from Blackhawk Christian. Goody answers right back for Homestead. Other end. Boyer now let's send it down to sideline reporter Jenna Lane is with Luke Goody. Thanks, Matt. I'm here with senior Luke Goody. And Luke, big win tonight over one of the best teams in the state. How are you guys able to get that done? Uh, we had a good... I'm Phil Huffman from Wallace e. High School, IASB's Vice President of Secondary Schools. I'm pleased to announce the awards for Corporate Video. Receiving honorable mention, Lucas Hunchman, Floyd Central High School, and David Sawley, South Bend Community School Corporation. Third place, Daisy Macias and A.J. Bain, Carroll High School. Second place, Ashton Hackman and Caleb Wood, Homestead High School. And the winner for Best Corporate Video, 
Andre Setliver, Homestead High School. Congratulations. We are Soren Hawk, a raptor rehabilitation center for injured animals spanning the largest states in the Midwest. We are proud to have over 200 rescues and raptor replacements to zoos and raptor centers. Our nonprofit service runs by our wonderful volunteers and has educated over 9,000 pre college students. I'm Matt Pelser, morning show host on 92.3 WTTS-FM, and I am honored to announce the awards for radio imaging. Great entries in this category. Honorable mention in this category goes to Maddie Carroll, Amelia Schroeder, Ryan Rakoska, and Logan Vaught of Franklin Central High School, and Quinn Gunderson, Grant Mitchell, and Carter Hopp of Jasper High School. Third place goes to Lucas Tetralt and Jackson Baker from J. Everett Light. In second place, Josiah Wright, Michaela Labrador, Abigail Brown, and Gracie Miles from the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center. And first place in the radio imaging category goes to Drew Persinger from Homestead High School. Congratulations to all of our student participants and to the winners. No matter what you want to listen to, 2.0 is a perfect fit. 2.0, it's the next level of radio. Looking to hit a high score? Score big with 2.0. Power up your listening experience. Tired of all the other stations playing just the same music? Luckily, 2.0's got music from almost every genre you can think of. I'm Bob Johnston from Carroll High School, and I am the immediate past president of the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters. I'm pleased to announce the awards for Animated Story category. Receiving honorable mentions are... Hadley Mertz of Homestead High School, and Cade Peters of the J. Everett Light Career Center. Third place in this category goes to Joanna Begley from J. Everett Light Career Center. In second place, Caleb Good from Brownsburg High School. And the winner for Best Animated Story, Logan Smith from Warsaw Community High School. Congratulations to all of the award recipients in this category. Coming for you, Barbara. I'm pleased to announce the awards for the motion graphics category. Receiving honorable mentions are Caleb Wood from Homestead High School, and Olivia Marsh, Alexis Luna, Audrey Schultz, and Nolan Todd from Lowell High School. Third place in this category goes to Allison Nelson from Brownsburg High School. In second place, Matthew Wolthrich from Wawasee High School. And the winner for Best Motion Graphics, Ashton Hackman from Homestead High School. Congratulations to all of the award recipients in this category. Hello, I'm Rich Green of Indiana State University. 
and an at-large member on the IASB Board of Directors. It's my pleasure to announce the awards for Video Magazine. Receiving honorable mention are Floyd Central High School and Richmond High School. Third place in this category goes to Martinsville High School. In second place, the South Bend Community School Corporation. And the winner for Best Video Magazine, Homestead High School. Congratulations to all the schools recognized in this category. With over 2,500 students roaming the halls each day, Homestead ranks as one of the largest high schools in the entire state of Indiana. Fifty years ago, in 1971, when Homestead was opening its doors, the building and community was not nearly as large. The year is 1970. For the 6,000 residents of a Boyd Township, a farm school was opened. I'm Rich Nye, television reporter with WTHR in Indianapolis, also an at-large board member for the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters. It's my privilege to announce the winners in the television school newscast category. Receiving honorable mention, the BHS TV staff from Brownsburg High School and the SBS TV media team from the South Bend Community School Corporation. Third place, RTV2, Martinsville High School. Second place, CPTV staff, Crown Point High School. And first place, HHS In-Depth, Homestead High School. Congratulations. Ahead, get an update on the rollout plan. Those stories and more straight ahead. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Jenna Lane. And I'm Ashton Ackman. It feels good to be back in the building. It sure does, Ashton. One semester down and second semester has arrived. And as students return to school, the pandemic that has only gotten worse since leaving in the fall is raising questions on the path of the second half of the school year. In our annual semester two sit down with Principal Dr. Ginder, he previews the road ahead as students continue to push through adversity of the pandemic. I would hope that we're in here from now through the end of the school year all the way through final exams. I think the things that we're dealing with are day to day and so I stay confident and with the realization that changes may happen. After two months of online learning due to rising staff in quarantine. It's my privilege to announce the winners in the television package category. Receiving honorable mention are Cora Shaw from Homestead High School and Grant Ott Large and Isaac Chesham of the A.K. Smith Area Career Center. Third place in this category goes to Arabella Brown, Rowan Brown, and Aaron Rotter of Brownsburg High School. In second place, Ashton Hackman, Homestead High School. And the winners in the television package category, Jacob Inman and Brandon Hedges from Carroll High School. Congratulations. This is Gentis. I just had somebody try to get into my room at C12 in the freshman center. Alert, lockdown, inform, counter, evacuate. On January 15th, Carroll students participated in an extended Alice drill during second period. Homeroom and activity period was given up in order to allow more time to be spent on the drill. Students were taken out of the halls and to simulate a passing period. The intruder started the drill within a classroom, and at one point, the fire alarm was pulled. Lackland feels these drills are effective in helping to prepare students. The one thing I think that we would like to see improve is just we want all of our staff as well. Now to the competition categories that are annually decided live at the IASB conference in Indianapolis. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, live performance were not possible this year, but we certainly hope they will return in 2022. Here are the finalists in Radio News Anchor. Sarah Fry, Crown Point High School. Chris Gloff, Crown Point High School. Easton Hensley, Homestead High School. Elias Corey. Franklin Central High School, Andrew Messicar, 
South Bend Community School Corporation, and Sydney Smith, Franklin Central High School. Third place for Radio News Anchor goes to Sarah Fry, Crown Point High School. Second place, Elias Corey, Franklin Central High School. And first place for Best Radio News Anchor Performance, Easton Hensley, Homestead High School. Congratulations to all the students that were finalists and those that placed in the Radio News Anchor category. I'm Easton Hensley and you're listening to a WCYT News Update. In state news, the Indiana State Department of Health announced Tuesday that Hoosiers aged 60 and older are now eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccine is available at no cost and appointments can be made by visiting the state's website at rshot.in.gov or by calling 211. Now let's move on to television news anchor. The six finalists are Sarah Fry, Crown Point High School, Ashton Hackman, Homestead High School, Griffin Hadley, Carmel High School, Colin Hatfield, J. Everett Light Career Center, John Lieber, Crown Point High School, and Cole Meyer, Martinsville High School. Third place in the television news anchor category goes to Colin Hatfield, J. Everett Light Career Center. Finishing in second place, Griffin Hadley, Carmel High School. And the winner for Best Television News Anchor, Ashton Hackman, Homestead High School. Congratulations to the students that were finalists and those that placed in the Television News Anchor category. Good evening, it's great to have you with us here on a very busy Wednesday night. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo coming before the cameras today. His apologies, his words, and the fierce reaction tonight. But we're going to begin with the alarming new bulletin that warns of a new threat against the U.S. Capitol, a possible militia plot to storm the Capitol as early as tomorrow. And after what we all witnessed on January 6th, authorities are now taking this intelligence very seriously. Hey, hi, this is Tom from the nationally syndicated Bob and Tom radio show. I'm joined by Chick McGee, Christy Lee, and Josh Arnold, and we are especially pleased to announce the awards for Best Radio On-Air Personality. The finalists are Easton Hensley of Homestead High School, Katie Killingbeck from the A.K. Smith Area Career Center, Gwyneth Nolly of the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center, Braden Pittman from Ben Davis High School, Robert Pollard of the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center, and Sebastian Zenowitz from Crown Point High School. Third place goes to Sebastian Zenowitz from Crown Point High School. In second place, Katie Killingbeck from the A.K. Smith Career Center. And the winner for Best High School Radio Air Personality in Indiana for 2021 is Robert Pollard from the Southern Indiana Career and Tech Center. From everyone here at the Bob and Tom Show, congratulations to all of the finalists for Best Radio Air Personality. Castle on the Hill by Ed Sheeran here on 90.7 WPSR. I'm RP, and I'll be on here with Claire Showman switching off for this couple of hours. So if you're in the car and you want to hear a specific song, let us know at 812-777-5907. We'll get that on there for you. We'll be back after these messages. You're listening to The Living Years by Mike and the Mechanics here on 90.7 WPSR. I'm RP, and I want to remind you guys to make sure you keep an eye on your dogs every single time they go outside. Dog thefts get more and more prevalent during the warm months, and every dog has value, whether it's for resale, bait. Our final awards in the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters is the Radio and Television School of the Year. These awards are based upon points earned throughout the entire contest. Here are your finalists for Television School of the Year. We had a tie for second runner-up. Congratulations to Martinsville High School and South Bend Community School Corporation. Your first runner-up, Carroll High School. And your 2021 IASB 
Television School of the Year is Homestead High School. Now for the Radio School of the Year. Second runner up, Franklin Central High School. Your first runner up is Carmel High School. And your Radio School of the Year for 2021, Homestead High School. Congratulations to all schools and contestants on your hard work throughout this challenging year. We look forward to seeing you in 2022. Good luck.